Hello everyone, it is Tuesday. It is the 14th of March. Just woke up a little blurry eyed. So I'm trying to drink my coffee and wake up, but um, yeah, you know, I have to talk about the passing of um, an, another musician, one who's not well known, but for those of us who knew the music that he made, it's it's a significant loss. It's a, it's such it it sucks. The band, the Chameleons. Manchester, England band. Love those guys. Associated with Shoegaze, although I just think they're just a damn good band. The drummer, John Lever, died yesterday. I get the news from Mark Burgess. Mark, I'll show one of the... This is their first album, Script of the Bridge. I once owned an original copy of it. I was all over the band when they first came out. And then in the 90s when the CDs came along... And I bought CDs, I was caught up in the moment, and I sold the records, like, in, you know. But I want to mark the passing of John Leber, the drummer, because John's drumming was an integral, integral part of the magic of the chameleon sound. The chameleons were a guitar-based band out of Manchester who were around... Excuse me. I gotta look at the records to get my dates right because I think 80s, you know, early 80s, you know. Um, who do I. I don't. It's not that I compared them to someone, but it was like someone else got what the acclaim that the chameleons deserved, in my opinion. I'm struggling for words because. So much is flooding to me to say. But one of the things I want to say about the chameleons, I never got to see him. It's an early one of theirs, the Phantom of the Bellows. But um, I got to play with Mark Burgess. But more importantly, the thing about John and John's passing is that John's drumming was so important. The sound of John's drumming was such a big part of the chameleons from the very first album the sound of his drums the way he smacks the snare now to me it sounds like a smack on several records it sounds like he's smacking that sucker but the way that he rides the beat and the rhythm it's a very signature part of the chameleon sound i dare say that, that all of their songs would be different with a drummer, a different drummer, and they had a different drummer in the beginning. John's already on drums on here, Less Than Human, great song. I got most of my vinyl signed by Mark when I played with him back in, I think, 2006, I think it was. Phenomenal album here, Strange Times. Phenomenal album. And um, John Lever's thundering drums are such a big part of this sound. The other thing that I've always liked about the chameleons and Mark Burgess, his work, um, which includes the sun and the moon. John was also in the sun and the moon with Mark Burgess. Is there's a passion in the music? There's a passion. I mean, is that the right way? The sun and the moon. Peace in our time. Here we go. Sun and the moon. Peace in our time. John Lebron drums. There was, there was an immediacy and passion and drive to the music. Mark's um, impassioned vocals, the tone of his voice, the, the spaciousness of the guitars, the chords that they wrote, and that beat from John Lever. Very significant. So we'll hardly hear about him in the music news. Um, there was a mention of him yesterday in Pitchfork. I will make one complaint or just one sad observation about the world according to business that 
as significant as the chameleon's music was for many people, not in sales, but in influence and what it did for our lives, the only time such an amazing band can get a mention in the mainstream press is when one of them dies. How sad. It's not a reflection of the true nature of what the music has done for the world. I do still think, and I've said this in, it's one of my most popular videos on my channel, is my shoegaze and my chameleons videos. They've gotten thousands of hits. But I will say again, I think I said it back then, I think that the chameleons are one of the greatest bands that ever was and has never been recognized for it, still do. And it's sad now that the drummer is gone, so just like with Led Zeppelin, there can never be another proper reunion. Now, the Chameleons had several reunions since they broke up, and um, I'm happy for it, because the music really stands out. Um, I could tell by Mark's comment on his Facebook page that he was really broken up about it. And also, I remember from when... I played with Mark Burgess and we partied afterwards here in this house. Mark was here gawking at those records, freaking out over my records when he came here, especially when he saw how many records by obscure Manchester bands I have because I'm into it. Mark told me in his own words, I remember this, how much the guys in the Chameleons meant to him, John and John in particular. Um, they fought like cats and dogs, like you do in bands when you become when you're close. But the passing of John Lever, I think, is pretty tough on Mark and probably the other guys too. So that's mainly what I want to do is <clears throat> pay tribute to his memory. And if you do not know the the music of the Chameleons, I can't recommend them highly enough. I can't recommend the Chameleons high enough. Excuse me. I just played Script of the Bridge all the way through yesterday, and it still, still shimmers. This is one of the uh, limited edition, only a thousand made of these, double album with a, with a CD. The other person that died recently that caught my attention that I will mention now, which will probably seem like a strange seg segue to some people, but this is how I am. Music is music. And I respect, I have respect for what needs to be respected. Joni Sledge, the oldest, the oldest of the Sledge sisters, d just died. Now the reason why, I don't own S Sister Sledge albums, but why it's significant to me personally is, excuse me, I've done a lot of DJ work over the years for weddings, for social gatherings, as part of my job working in the mental health um, rehab center I worked at, I held a lot of dances and parties for the consumers and their par their families. And one of the songs that is guaranteed to brighten up a room is We Are Family by Sister Sledge. Musically, I think most of the credit of that goes to Chic. But it's the personality of the sisters singing that unites the people. The beat gets the people dancing, but it's the sound of the sisters singing We Are Family. I got all my sisters in me. I've just watched that have a, a magical, and that's the right word, a magical effect on, on people in mass and even just individually. So... For, for, for that one reason alone, Joni Sledge deserves um, mention and me being remembered. She really did touch the world through music. I won't stay on long. There's a lot I could talk about. I could talk about my radio show, t-shirts, uh, Adult Swim. I'll get to that the next one. I want to leave this one encouraging folks to discover, if you have not, discover the music of the band The Chameleons. And tell me if you don't notice the drumming almost right away. John Lever died yesterday. Excellent drummer. A defining drummer. Like John Bonham with Led Zeppelin. John, John Lever with the Chameleons. I'll, I'll say it that big, and I mean it. I do. Thinking about you, Mark. 
you know, I think that Mark Burgess every now and then watches me. So, Mark, if you happen to decide to watch this, my heart's with you, brother. Rest in peace, John. Rest in peace.